In the first installment of this tutorial we showed you how to begin a project, import pictures, rotate the pictures, and then save the project. Once we've rotated the pictures we have the option of removing black borders from pictures like this. Keep in mind that sometimes you will want to keep the black borders to keep the framing of the picture. But let's just try this out. We'll click remove black borders and the program finds all pictures with black borders. Here's an example of a picture where we might not want to accept the cropping because this elongated framing works much better than this. So we'll just say no. Perhaps in this one I feel I can accept that this framing would work. I drag around this crop box until the cropping works for me. And you notice that as I make changes they're reflected in this after box here. So if I say yes to this, those changes are accepted and it moves on to the next picture. And you continue to do that for all of the pictures that have black borders. You can just say yes to all, but the defaults that, ex that you are accepting you may not find acceptable when it's done. Another thing you can do at this phase is rearrange pictures. Let's say that I wanted this picture to come after. I can simply drag it and drop it and the picture is automatically rearranged in my slideshow. You can also do color correction. Keep in mind that this is very simple and you have no control over it. It's simply the automatic color correction that the program believes will help the picture. And in this case, I think it didn't help the picture. I would press the color correction button again and it would turn off the color correction. I can also remove red eye if I have red eye. Or if I want to do a personal crop, I can click edit, choose crop, and now if I want to focus in on the monkey that's in that window, I can do that. I click on save. It's now the cropped image that will appear when I close this. So we work through those options, removing black borders, color correction, red eye, and any cropping we want to do through all of our pictures as our second stage. We're done that. We'll click on next to go to the third phase.